Hi guys, uh, greetings of the day and in this session I am going to show you an example problem from an isometric projection and the problem is like this. A regular pentagonal prism of base is 30 mm and axis length 60 mm is mounted centrally over a cylindrical block of 80 mm diameter and 25 mm thin. Draw isometric projection of the formula combined solids. So according to the given question, we have a prism and it is mounted on a cylindrical block. Now, according to the given condition, so this is how we are going to get the orthographic projections of the scene. Now, we are supposed to create a circular slab of uh, 80 millimeter diameter at a thickness of 25 millimeter. So, for which using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.1513 millimeter, let me create a square first. So, 80, 30, 80, 150, 80, minus 150 and connect back to the first point or 80 minus 30 and then uh, the lines what we are going to draw now is all the construction lines to connect uh, draw the required isometric view of a uh, circle in the form of a ellipse because we know that the circle is going to be formed as a ellipsis and the technique what we are going to do here is called as 4 arc technique to get the required ellipse and these construction details in detail we have given you in the previous sessions and you can please uh, go through the same and now let me delete all the construction lines which is uh, not required and then the ellipse we have constructed of a diameter 60 millimeter sorry 80 millimeter and then uh, using a line of uh, 0.13 mm as a thickness and then uh, we, we need to get the uh, shear point here with respect to the shear point that is going to be the center now the height of this solid is 25 millimeter so let me draw a 25 millimeter line and after which uh, the ellipse what we have constructed of uh, 80 millimeter thick has to be positioned at a height of 25 millimeter also so while doing these things, please make sure that the copy of move should be on. It was not on. So let me redo it. And we are going to relocate it. And the axis is also selected. Let me delete it. Then using a line command, uh, let me connect uh, the respective points as a continuous line with 0.5 mm as a thickness. Now the cylinder, cylindrical slab has been constructed. Now, whatever the unwanted lines are there that can be trimmed or it can be deleted or it can be retained as a thin lines if it is required. Now uh, we have constructed the uh, cylindrical slab over which we need to locate the pentagonal lamina. Now to locate the pentagonal lamina, sorry not the pentagonal lamina, pentagonal prism. So for which we have to do a small construction because in pentagonal uh, prism, the top view of a pentagonal prism, one can observe that it is not having the isometric axis edges, so we will create that first and now uh, using a smart dimension, one can measure this dimension which is showing as 48.54 and this dimension is 46.17 and the distance between these two lines are most necessary and the distance between these two edges is also necessary. Now let me construct the isometric uh, projections of the pentagonal prism. Now, I will show you how to construct the same using a line command with a thickness of uh, 0 0.1 and a continuous line. Uh, so now let me start the construction as uh, the pentagonal prism is concerned. Now the distance is 46.17 at an angle of 30, then 48.54 at an angle of 150, then again 46.17 at an angle of minus 150 and then 46, oh sorry 48.54 at an angle of minus 30 as to connect it back to the first point and after which using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 so the approximate pattern I am going to draw here now don't take the midpoint symbol but uh, this point is supposed to be the midpoint and this could be any point on the element and the stack point now let me give a respective dimensions properly. Now the distance between these two lines are supposed to be 9.27 and then the distance between these two lines are also supposed to be 9.27 
and then the distance between these two points is measuring as 28.53 and here also it is supposed to be changed to 28.53 now one can see that we have got the required rectangular edges and now one can delete these construction lines whatever we have drawn which is no no more necessary then using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 so one can draw any two perpendicular bisectors to get the axis position now the axis position is obtained the height of this uh, solid is 60 millimeter so we will draw a 60 millimeter vertical height in the form of a chain line like this then we are supposed to select the bottom base edges and then using the move command copy is on and this pentagon is supposed to be repositioned at the height of 60 millimeter also like this then join the available or the required longer edges of the pentagonal prism like this and whatever the invisible edges are there and the construction lines are there it can be deleted or it can be retained as a pin lines if at all it is required now one can see that the isometric projections of the prism is completed now let me select this prism then make use of a move command and switch off the copy and move this bottom end point of the axis to the top end uh, top end point of the axis towards the cylindrical slab like this then after which using the trim command the invisible portion of this uh, cylinder has to be eliminated like this now one can say that the isometric view or isometric drawing is completed with respect to the given conditions now we have to convert this into a isometric projections for which we have to go for isometric scale so let me select the figure and go to a scale factor and the isometric scale factor is 0 0.8164 times and then it has to be positioned in the screen now one can say that the problem is completed as per the given condition this is the isometric projections for the given conditions now if you are having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and please do uh, like this video share and subscribe to my youtube channel and also kindly press the bell icon if you are interested to get the future updated videos thanks for watching my youtube channel guys